We'll now look at adding and subtracting rational expressions using the least common multiple method. So the first step of this is to figure out what is the least common multiple of the denominators. And we'll walk through a few steps to do that. The first step would be to factor the denominators. We need to make sure all of the denominators are factored first. The second step, we're actually going to find the product of each factor with the highest power which occurs. So the easiest way to do this is to look at the first fraction, write down everything that's on the denominator, move to the second one, add in anything that's missing, move to the third, add in anything that's missing, etc. If you have a factor that's raised to a power, you need to make sure in your least common multiple it's raised to the highest power. The third step is to write each fraction using the least common multiple. The way we do this is if we look at a fraction, we look at the denominator and see what's missing to make it look like the least common multiple, and we'll then multiply both the top and the bottom by that term. We should now have fractions with the same denominator, so now all we have to do is add or subtract. We'll start with an example of how to find the LCM. So here we're going to look at starting with our first fraction, our first term here. We have an x, an x plus 2, and an x minus 5. In the second one, we see that we have a 3 that we don't already have written down. And now we're going to look at exponents. The highest power on the x plus 2 is a 3. The highest power on the x minus 5 is a 4. So there's the LCM. Another example, if both of our t expressions that we're looking at have a number out front, like here we have a 3 and a 6, we should start by finding the least common multiple of those two numbers, which is just 6. Now in my first expression, I have an x plus 4 and an x minus 3. The second one adds in an x plus 7, and we have no exponents here, so that's it. We'll now actually look at adding two fractions. So we need to start by factoring the denominators. We know that x squared plus 4x plus 3 will factor into x plus 3x plus 1, and x squared minus 1 factors into x plus 1x minus 1. So now my LCM will be x plus 3, x plus 1, x minus 1. So the first fraction, I need to add in the x minus 1. And then the bottom is x plus 3, x plus 1, x minus 1. Should have added in an x minus 1 on the top. The second one is missing an x plus 3. So I'll add in an x plus 3 on the top and on the bottom. Multiplying out, I get x squared minus x plus 3x squared plus 9x minus 2x minus 6 all over this common denominator. And now all we have to do is simplify. I see I have a 4x squared, I have negative 9, or I have negative x plus 9x minus 2 would give me plus 6x, and then I have a minus 6 all over the common denominator, x plus 3, x plus 1, x minus 1. Next we'll do a subtraction. So the first denominator has an x in common, so I'm left with x times x minus 1. And the second one actually factors into x minus 1 squared. So my LCM in this case is x times x minus 1 squared. My first fraction has an x minus 1 but only one of them, so I need to add an x minus 1 to the top and bottom. The second one is missing an x, so I need to add an x to the top and the bottom. 
Multiplying this out would give me 4x minus 4, and we are subtracting here, so make sure we distribute the negative. Negative x squared minus 2x, all over x times x minus 1 squared. So simplifying gives me negative x squared plus 2x minus 4, all over x times x minus 1 squared.